Here we go. After 10 days in St. Paul's Hospital in Saskatoon, this COVID-19 patient is on the mend. But Kathy Ziglow is still shocked by how quickly she became critically ill. I went from let's get some fluids to you're going on life support. Like it just didn't even, it just didn't even make sense to us. The vibrant 47-year-old became infected with the virus in mid-November after her partner contracted the virus at a curling bond spill. Ziglow vomited for five days until public health officials told her to call 911 so paramedics could rush her to hospital. When they said you realize that by going into the hospital as, as a COVID positive patient, you're putting people at risk. And I said, I'm putting myself at risk by not going to the hospital. Within hours, she was in intensive care fighting for every breath. I breathed and I counted and I breathed and I counted and I got to a point where we didn't have to intubate because I knew once I got to that point I had lost, I would have lost all control. A month ago, there were 32 people with COVID in Saskatchewan hospitals. Today, that's up to 144. The health authority is prepping field hospitals and getting ready to redeploy hundreds of staff, including nurses, to cover critical care services if necessary. They are feeling very unsure, um, frightened, a bit discouraged and, and really quite tired. Uh, we haven't seen the increase that we were projecting about 10 days ago. So the regular, the restrictions that we have in place right now seem to be working. They gown up and then they come into the COVID zone. Ziglow is in a secluded room visited only by nurses and doctors in full PPE. They, they do, do not get the credit that they, that they so, so much deserve. Now doing much better, Ziglow hopes to get released from hospital by the end of the week. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.